by CHD here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be comparing Shu MGK and Crep Cure. And sorry for the audio, I'm out on my back porch because I don't want to get the ground wet in my house. And I've got some shoes that you guys have already seen, and today I'm just going to be showing you which one is better. And so yeah, I got Shu MGK for $20, I got this for $18. So let's open it up. All right, so for Shu MGK, you have a big bottle of clean cleaner and conditioner, and you have a brush that just has the logo on there too. For Crep, it's a nice little fancy zip-up thing, so you can have it on the go. It's got a microfiber towel, which you do need to wipe off your shoes with. It's got a brush, and it says premium brush on like the Shu MGK one, and then you have a smaller bottle of the little conditioner for it and then you have a nice little booklet telling you what's going on how to do it okay so the directions are the same for both of them so here we have the crep and here we have the shoe mgk but what you do is you dip the brush in the water and you put when you when you take it out you put conditioner on it instead of putting conditioner in the water so that's why I split them up. So first I'm going to be doing a pair of shoes with Crep because I am actually, this is one of my friend's pair of shoes and I'm going to be cleaning them for you and they are completely destroyed. They're really, really dirty. So I'm going to use Crep because to be honest with you guys, I like Crep a little bit better even though I haven't used it yet but I've seen a bunch of videos on it. Plus the only problem is it's cool how to do this but I kind of need a bigger one and you'll see why in a second. But I'm just going to use it just for the point of the video. Alright, so I'm going to put the shoes in here. So here we go, we got some EQT shoes. They're, they were all white. So yep, I'm going to see if I can restore these. Size 9.5. There's the shoe. That's before. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unlace these and clean the shoelaces as well. They're pretty dirty. So, yep, I'll take them off real quick. And also, I'm going to clean the bottom of the shoes, too, as well, because they're really dirty. I got to remember how I unlaced them. And I like to do one shoe at a time. And especially for this video, I'm going to keep keep the other shoelaces on for the, on the other pair of shoes. Just in case I forget how I like, put them on. And I'm actually thinking about getting a pair of these shoes. But honestly, I'm, you guys know, if you don't know, I'm size 13 in shoe. So I don't think these shoes will look that cool in size 13. Maybe they will. I don't know. All right, so here's the lace. Not that dirty. But the actual shoe itself is pretty dirty. We'll set the other shoe to the side. The lace is to the side as well. And here's when the fun part comes in. I'm going to get it in the shoe. So once again, here's a little before and after. Alright, and it's got a little reflective thing right here, which is kind of cool. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to get your brush. You're going to dip in the water and then dip in this part. Then what you're going to do is, I'm going to put this to the side actually. You're going to put, not on too much. I probably got to break a little sill, sill here. Oh, no, I don't. And then you just squirt a little bit of it on, not too much though. Like that. And you're going to start scrubbing away. And actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do this out of the bucket. So what you're going to do is you're going to get it. And what I like to do, I put my hand inside of it. And then you're just going to brush gently back and forth. As you guys can see, it's already making a huge difference. Holy crap, it's making a big difference right now. Alright, so now I'm going to get the microfiber. Get to, I'm now going to get the towel, wipe it off. And let me just take a little break and show you. Here, let me just show you this shoe that I didn't clean. And then now, this shoe that I just barely went over a little bit. And you can see right here a little bit where I did it. When it bubbles up, that means it's actually cleaning it too. Alright, now let's start going on the actual fabric part. Fabric part. Alrighty, and here we go. I can't really tell right now because the lighting's not the best, but I'm going to put more of the water. We'll put a little bit more conditioner on it real quick. 
I'm actually going to put on a little bit more than usual just because this part I know is really dirty. Oh, crap. <laughs> Go in. Oh, holy crap. It's like a carpet cleaner. So, I haven't used crep yet, but so far I think crep is a lot better than shoe in UK. So, crep, hit me up if you want to sponsor me. Dang, this is insane. My friend's going to be so stoked. Because he's like, oh, I'm just throwing in the washer. I'm like, eh, it'll shrink it. And wow, this is insane. recommend getting crep I will have the link in the description to buy some and also shoe in UK because I haven't shown you guys that yet it's here from me that I like crep a lot better all right now I'm gonna wrap it off holy crap look at it it's white again now it might you might not look as great until I put the other shoe compared next to it yeah gotta love crep guys all right now I'm gonna go to the back section. See, now you guys know why I'm doing it outside instead of inside. Hopefully the audio is not that bad. All right, there we go. See, that's my only thing is there's less prep than Shroom GK, but crep is like the beast. So definitely worth it. All right, so here we go in the back section right here. They're very foamy, that's why I usually use a bucket. Also why I like having a bigger towel. It's cool that it, it comes with it. Alright. What's up the most is where it's usually the shoes the most dirty at. Major difference right there. So now I'm gonna go to the back bottom part of the back. Everybody who goes to my school, I'm cleaning shoes for five dollars each. Or you can get your own crep, but I'm pretty good. It's not all on the stuff. It's all on the person cleaning it. No, I'm honestly joking. Alrighty. So I'm going to finish it up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So I finished the first shoe. Um, and before I show you here is the other one that has not been cleaned yet. As you can see, very, very dirty. Now, here is the one that has been cleaned. As you can see, all the dirty marks are gone up front. The sides looks completely new. The bottom almost perfectly white again. Other side. And so here's the comparison as it right next to the other one. Yeah. Gets one point. Alrighty. And on to the next shoe. Alrighty, before I go into the next shoe, I am going to clean it. And what I usually do is I just get the water and I just kind of put it in there and just mix it around I get the brush and I'll lay it up flat and then just, oh, just go for it alrighty now you got yourself some clean laces lace back up the other one If you ever clean someone's shoes and you unlace them, make sure you lace them exactly how they had them. Be really picky about how they did it or spend a lot of time on it. So never give a shoe back to them if it's unlaced unless they ask for you to give it back to them unlaced. And also, just in case you don't you mess just in case you mess up like I did right there, that's why you only do one at a time so you don't unlace both of them and try to just free it. Because someone might like to overlace, someone might like it underlaced. And this person happens like it overlaced. I don't care. And sometimes if they're like NMDs, I usually double lace them. There you go. There you go. First shoe done compared to the other one. And here, I'm actually going to see if I can get a picture of what these shoes come like out of the box so, so you can get a comparison. Alrighty, so here's the shoe and I actually happened to find the shoe on GOAT. And let's go on to the next shoe. 
All right, so this one I honestly think is a lot more dirtier, if that's a word. So first of all, of course, like I did last time, I'm going to unlace them. This one's a lot more dirtier. So hopefully I can restore it as well as I did with the other one, maybe even better. So first things first, I'm going to start on the sides as usual. shoe is almost fully restored I think we're gonna call it a day for this shoe but I got some other pairs of shoes that I'm gonna do alrighty so I was lacing up these shoes and I got a notification on my phone I knew there was a watch but now it said there was a tornado warning in your area and I'm outside right now so that's what I do for you guys alright almost done lacing up the kicks Alright, so you guys can probably really hear the wind now, but that's my excuse to get our tornado gonna hit, possibly. No, I'm just kidding. So I'm going to clean another pair of shoes, and that pair of shoes happens to be my pair of shoes. And I know what you're saying, they're not dirty. I do realize that. But there is some small little things as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt on the bottom of them if you look really closely. I do keep these things really clean, and there's a little marking right there, too. So, I'm just going to do a quick little job on these and the back of these shoes. For some reason, I have friends who have them, and they have the same problem, but they get scuffed on the back. So, I'm going to test crep and see if I can get that fixed. So, I'm not going to take the shoelaces off. But I am going to just do a little quick job on these things. And I'm probably going to need some more water here soon. Oh, it's getting a little dark. It's kind of scary. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go right here on the back. And just start scrubbing away. Oh, it looks shiny right now. I wish it always stayed like that, but that's just when it's wet. Alright, so it looks like it got the scuff marks off. If you guys do have a pair of the white ones... I would recommend getting crep to clean them up. So yeah, the scuffing is completely gone. So really impressed. So I'm actually gonna go around the sides real quick with it. All right, I'm like actually gonna get this Adidas part as well. And then I'm gonna do the bottom because I'm one of those freaks that like to have their bottom of their shoes clean. Yeah, these shoes were hard to get because I tried to order them online, sold out almost instantly my size. They only had size 10s left. And if you guys want to buy a pair of these shoes, like, obviously you can only get this one on GOAT. Maybe you can get the white ones on Foot Locker or Adidas. But let's say you're size 13 and the regular NMDs, like the zebra ones that I've had. I'm size 13 in those, but for some reason in these shoes, I'm actually size 12. So I would definitely make sure if you're going to order them, try them on. doesn't matter. I actually tried on a Oreo ones, I think. Actually, no, I tried on the, the tan ones. And then I'm glad I did because I would have gotten shoes that are a little big for me. I cleaned up on the sides and the bottoms. And oh, do they look a lot better. Wow. And when you clean your shoes, you really don't know how dirty they are until you actually clean them. But there we go. Actually do the back for the scuff mark difference. I didn't get all the scuffs out because they're actually scuffs so you can't, that's like trying to clean a dent. But there you go. Now this one, I'm curious to see if this will get this little mark off. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Man, it's really getting dark out. But there's a little mark right there. I don't know what it's from. But it's about to not be there hopefully. I'm actually going to zoom in so you can really see this. You can see the mark on there I believe. Scrub at it. And then hopefully, 
Oh, that's right. Well, it's still there a little bit. That actually might be glue from the shoe, honestly. Well, no, I got it up, actually. Looked better to me. Alright, now, next shoes. I'm actually going to do these shoes. I don't wear them. I'm actually trying to sell them for really cheap because I don't like them at all and they're not my size. But here are some Nike. I mean, these are actually kind of cool. There's some Zebra Nike SBs. They are pretty beat up. They've worn a few times too. And so I'm just going to go along the sides just to show you how the different materials work. So I'm just going to show you how you can use this on this material as well. This you could use a magic eraser on, but right here where it's hard, you can't. So that's why I would get crept through cleaning shoes like these. Alrighty, so there's a mark right here that's struggling to come up. Not too worried about it. Alright, that's starting to go away now. Alrighty. Alright, so you can tell where I, just where I was at. So, as you can see, I just went up and down a little bit on that side of the line. So, you, as you can tell, it's a lot cleaner. I'm not going to clean the whole shoes. That was just there to show you. And now, the next shoe is like a, almost like a furry material. So, let's just see what it does. Well, I guess I just found some shoe lotion, I guess you could say. Because it did work on the back right here, too. Wow. And there's actually a little mark right here. I'm going to see if I can get that off. And yes, it looks like I can get that off. Well, I didn't scrub that hard, but you can get it off. Alrighty, so now I'm going to wipe this off. And, yep, it looks a lot better. This one, I didn't clean, obviously. It looks almost blue. Now is here where the title was from of the video. I'm going to do five strokes with the shoe and UK and five with crep. Crep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go back and forth uh, five times and we'll see the difference one two three four and five alrighty so now we're gonna wipe it off okay so it's cleaner but not too much but let's see crep this one's brushes wider but this one's skinnier so now here we go one two three four and five now we're going to wipe it off. There we go. This side is crep. Side shoe MGK. They're still a little bit dirty. I think crep might have one. So let's actually just finish it up real quick. Right, so I did five more on this shoe. And then do five more. And yeah, I think crep might have one by a lot so yep if you're going to choose which one to buy I would definitely go with crep cheaper smaller bottle comes with brush and microfiber towel MGK bigger bottle comes without a microfiber towel and it comes with a longer skinnier brush so here's the brush comparisons and the bottle difference is major like I said I think crep works better and then of course the packaging, this is the shoe and UK comes in and the crep comes with a zip up. So, I'm gonna have to say crep. I gotta go with crep. I like crep better. Shoe and UK, it's good, but not as good as crep. Of course, it's only the starter, but it honestly doesn't make a difference. Alright guys, so unfortunately, I lost my outro, but it was just like 20 seconds of me saying that you should buy crep, and it's better than shoe and PK, and the video was not sponsored by any of them. That was just my personal opinion. And so, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow and the day after.